Chennai Metropolitan Water Supply and Sewerage Board plans to construct a seawater reverse osmosis SWRO, based 400 MLD desalination plant at Perur, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India, to augment further the drinking water supply to the city of Chennai. This project involves the construction of intake of 1,052 MLD and outfall structure of 640 MLD, pre-treatment system followed by SWRO desalination, remineralization and sludge treatment system. Water from Bay of Bengal Sea is transferred to desalination plant through perforated intake screens. Inside the intake screen, chlorination will occur with the help of chlorine dosing system to prevent marine growth inside the intake system. From sea, water moves to pump house with the help of twin 2,500 mm diameter HDPE pipe via gravity. In the pump house, Water will enter the traveling band screen chamber through an inlet chamber where large unwanted particles will be eliminated by continuously rotating screen. With the help of vertical turbine pumps, water will be pumped out of the pump house to two completely separate streams of 200 MLD each. All the process units, storage tanks and chemical buildings to be kept separate for the two streams with only a common intake and outfall. Flash Mixer Flash mixer is provided with 20 seconds retention time with proper mixing of coagulant in seawater. Flocculator Flocculator is designed to generate large aggregates that can easily settle or float. The suspended particles will be attracted to each other due to flocculant dosing and converted into heavy particles called as flock. Lamella clarifiers Lamella clarifiers consist of a series of inclined parallel plates through which the water passes. Water will enter from the bottom and it will start raising and to increase the surface area of the tank there are lamella plates fixed in an inclined angle. Filtered water will move up and unwanted particles will sediment at the bottom as sludge. Sludge will be transferred to sludge balancing tank. Treated water will be transferred to dissolved air flotation system via channel. Dissolved air flotation is a process of liquid-solid separation where removal is achieved by dissolving air in the water under pressure and then releasing the air in a flotation basin. Gravity filters In gravity media filters, there are in total 40 media beds in each stream. From main header, water will enter each filter via individual pipes. The flow of the water will be distributed equally via channel. Now the water will flow into multiple media like anthracite, sand and gravel where natural filtration will occur and impurities are removed. Water will be filtered in all the beds and will be connected to an outlet channel via pipeline. After getting filtered in gravity media filter, water will move to RO feed tank. Water stored in RO feed tank will be transferred to SWRO system with the help of RO feed pumps. In SWRO treatment system, water will enter into the cartridge filter to undergo a self-filtration process. After filtration, water will move with high pressure into inlet of SWRO skid with the help of high pressure pumps. The reverse osmosis process will occur in RO skid. The reject water will be released out of RO skid with high pressure and such high pressure can be used to recover the energy of the system. To fulfill the purpose, the reject water can be used to recover the energy and enhance the pressure of RO inlet water with the help of an energy recovery device. Water from inlet header will enter into the energy recovery device with low pressure. The reject water will high pressure will flow through the back of the device. Energy recovery device will transfer the high pressure from reject water to the feed water and as a result the pressure of the inlet water will increase and pressure of reject water will decrease. Finally, the reject with low pressure will move into outfall tank. After reverse osmosis process, treated water will be stored in RO permeate water tank for post-treatment. A part of permeate from the RO plant will be treated in the remineralization system followed by disinfection and pH adjustment. Treated water after post-treatment will be transferred to product water storage tank. 
The water from the product water tanks of both the streams will then fed to a clear water reservoir for pumping water to Perur for distribution. Entire plant is monitored and controlled through state-of-art DCS. Rio panels are placed at both stream for plant automation. Plant is designed to have common sludge treatment system for both streams of 200 MLD. Bottom sludge flow from lamella and DAF system will collect it in sludge balancing tank from where it will be pumped to sludge thickeners and dewatering centrifuges. Water stored in outfall tank will be transferred back to sea via outfall pipe and diffuser system. 400 MLD desalination plant will play a major role in supplying drinking water to Chennai city as it will benefit more than one crore people by the end of the year 2025.